Ecologically Addressing Humanity's Foundations. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 86. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 86, October 24th, 2014 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's accomplishments, progress, everything that we've gotten done in the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, more pictures and links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can join our email uh, updates list by sending an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which consists of the Satellite and Pioneer members, finished the final 50% of the Love Lesson Plan mind map that you can see here. This completes the Love Lesson Plan webpage and lesson that teaches all subjects to all ages in the context of the central theme of love. Behind the scenes, we also finished the first half of image research for the Opposites Lesson Plan. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished three more complete breakout pages from the large-scale gardening page. These included the peas page, the tomatoes page, and the radishes page. You can see all three pages scrolling here, and you can visit the written blog or use the URLs above to visit the complete pages for all the detailed plant descriptions, planting guidelines, cultural considerations, and more. These new pages load faster and also give us the space we'll need to add recipes, gardening tips, harvesting and canning tips, and videos. Contact us if you have any great resources related to any of these plant species so we can add them to the pages. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing finished this real-to-life three dome cluster layout and landscaping render. This is for the domes we'll be building as part of the crowdfunding campaign. It is the first render showing the landscaping and placement of the 150 square foot dome between the two 200 square foot domes. Related to this, we also finished the final formatting and additional details for the last 10% of the Earthbag Construction Dome Home Energy Infrastructure Do-It-Yourself Instructional webpage. You can see that here and you can visit the link to this newly completed page for complete details and links to the crowdfunding campaign page uh, with descriptions of all the other components we'll be open sourcing also. In addition to this, we started putting together the lumber and parts purchasing details for the first custom dome home furniture design too. You can see this here, where we're sorting like pieces with like pieces to identify the most efficient lumber and parts purchasing plan for this furniture. 
Details on this model are on the open source custom furniture page, and you can also see there the other designs by Philip Gill that will be part of the complete Earthbag Village domes. In addition to all this, we added the highest good energy rollout and phasing in discussion details for off-grid sustaining of 400 plus people in off-grid eco villages. And we updated the two pair two images and details with additional energy efficiency changes we made that have made it possible for us to cut our energy costs by 30%. Last but not least, Dave Wallen, drafter and owner of Dave Philip Wallen Design, also made significant progress to the next generation of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 designs. What you see here is his video of this progress, and uh, also here is an updated CAD cross-section. So you can see this straw bale village model evolving. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working on the Duplicable City Center added the cost analysis details for the Duplicable City Center and property-wide hydronic setup details page, which you can see here. We also added a comprehensive frequently asked questions section to that page. Behind the scenes, we finished calculating the specifics for our lighting needs uh, for this structure so that we can meet LEED Platinum requirements, and we also laid out the first version of the complete lighting plan. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week we joined Good Shop and Good Search. Now people can help us raise money just by surfing the web or shopping at your favorite stores by clicking through Good Shop. Clicking through this link on our donations page, you can access over 5,000 plus stores working with Good Shop, have access to Good Shop discounts and coupons, and you can learn how Good Shop has raised over $11 million for nonprofits around the world. In addition to joining Good Shop and Search, we also featured Good Shop as an ethos solution. You can visit the Good Shop Ethos Solutions page to learn about the history of the program, other ways they're raising money for nonprofits, and more. On top of all this, we've also partnered with Good Shop and now list them on our Highest Good Collaborators page. Check them out in any of the above links because they are truly an amazing organization doing amazing things. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a Highest Good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our Highest Good Society creation process. One community is ecologically addressing humanity's foundations. And what that means is we started by asking the question, what would it take to create a completely sustainable civilization? It's got to be more than just housing and energy and food because those things already exist, but this idea has not become mainstream yet. So we said we want to dig a lot farther than that. We want to go deeper than that. We want to look at the emotional sustainability aspects of ecologically addressing humanity's foundations. What does it take to be a happy people? What does it take to live enriching lives? And so from that, we added to highest good food, energy, and housing, highest good education models, highest good recreation models, highest good economics models, which are for-profit, non-profit business creation models for giving more than they take, as well as true earth stewardship taking care of our global environment so it lasts for generations to come, and saying, how can we be true stewards of our planet? But behind all of that, we had to ask the question, how do we make it appealing to most people? If we're going to ecologically address humanity's foundations, humanity has to be on board. And so to achieve that goal, we realized that we needed to create an environment that most people would consider far superior to their current living experience. 
an environment that would provide more for people than what they're getting right now, more of the things, more of the things that they want, more time with their friends and family, better quality of food, better quality of air, better quality of water, housing that is artistic and beautiful and do it yourself that they can build more affordably, ways to get rid of your bills, better education for your kids, all these things. And what we said is we said, well, it can't just be about physical sustainability. It also needs to be about emotional sustainability. And if we take physical sustainability and emotional sustainability and we put these things together and we open source that solution in a way that people can adapt it and modify it so that it works best for them, so that they can change it to fit their own needs, so that they can change it to fit their own values, but built with the highest good infrastructure that by its very definition helps to move the world in the right direction by every duplication that happens. If we create that, physical sustainability, emotional sustainability, we put those together, we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate that experience as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. We have the opportunity to really address the foundational values of our civilization, the way that people look at the world, and create a world that, or create a way that works better for those people, works better for our planet, and will become self-replicating, spreading across the world in the form of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs, teaching others how to live this way too, because there will be a demand. Because there'll be other people that want to ecologically address humanity's foundations too, and they recognize that by doing that, there's a model that they can do that and meet their individual needs as well. And so by giving people enough, by providing more of what people want, and setting them free, taking them out from underneath the thumb of the things that are holding them back from holding others, with a, from helping others, with a model specifically designed to help them help others by helping themselves first. By creating that, we can transform the world. We can create a planet that truly works for everybody. And so this is what One Community is all about. This is what we're up to. This is what we're doing. And of course, we invite you to join us. If what we're creating sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if you're a maker, if you're a creator, if you're a connector, if you're somebody that wants to be the change that you see, you want to see in the world, if you're somebody that believes that the best way to see the future is to create it, then we're doing that. And we've got lots of different ways to participate. You can participate with us as a pioneer member, the people that are going to move onto the property and help us build one community. You can participate as a satellite member, which are the people that are not interested in moving to the property but still want to be a part of our weekly calls and our constant project updates and everything that's happening behind the scenes. Or you can participate as a partner or a consultant. Somebody just donating your time to our project to help move it forward and uh, people that give what they can bring their expertise to the table and say, hey, I can help with this piece of the project, or I can help with this piece of the project. You know, I've got expertise, and I'd like to see this open source and free shared. I'd like other people to have this knowledge too, and so I want to create, contribute to one community and create these open source blueprints so that what I've got in my head, I can give to other people and create a better world through doing that. Is it altruistic? Yes. Is it humanitarian? Yes. Is it philanthropic? Yes. There's also a, a self-serving element here Beyond even the fact that we are contributing so much and we have the opportunity to truly create a world that works for all of us, there's an opportunity here for people to create homes that they can build themselves. Food that is way higher quality than what you can grow, what you can buy in the grocery store, and way more diverse. All these details are already on the website. To create an environment where they get to spend more time with their kids. To create an environment where they get to spend more time with their friends. To bring together like-minded people. So if you're somebody who wants those things, if you're somebody who wants to contribute to creating a path to those things, we invite you to get involved. And of course, you know, the number one thing that can help us right now is we are seeking large-scale funding. We're looking for the funding that we need to be able to take the property that we've worked with now for four years off the market. If we can get that property off the market, we can share the location, we can share videos, we can share pictures, and we can take all of our open source creation process to the next level. Open sourcing how we adapt everything that we're doing to that specific environment, teaching people that as well, but more specifically doing the on-the-ground work that we need to be able to start doing civil engineering details and things like that and open sourcing that whole process too. So if you're a connector, if you're somebody who knows somebody, or if you're somebody who has access to the resources to help us in this way, to either donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in what it is that we're doing. 
Somebody who wants to see this idea of ecologically addressing the human foundations go to the next level, we invite you to contact us. We're looking for that one person or that small group that really wants to invest in one community and help our group of all nonprofit, unpaid volunteers, self-included, to take this whole thing to the next level. That's what we need. And of course, as I've said before, if you're a connector, if you're somebody who knows people, uh, sharing our information is one of the greatest things that people can do to help as well. This idea of addressing humanity's foundations needs to get out there. People need to know that it's possible. If you look at the amazing things that humanity has done, the concept of building open source and free shared food, energy, housing, education models, all of these things is really not that big of an endeavor compared to building the Golden Gate Bridge or the Manhattan Project. All these things, or creating an airplane, or these crazy things, you know, going to the moon. You know, these ideas that have brought together massive groups of people with a common vision to create something that has moved humanity forward or has just blown the minds of people and what they were able to do. What we're doing is simple compared to that, but so much broader in its scope. Capable of truly changing the hearts and minds of humanity in a way that can create a planet that absolutely provides for all of its people. So that everybody wins. Where we can work together and create the planet that we know is possible. So we are on all the social media networks to make this as easy as, as we can. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are on Pinterest. We are on Reddit. We are on Tumblr. We are on, what else? Twitter? Did I say Twitter already? LinkedIn? We are on all the different social media networks, 10 or 12 that I didn't mention. So sharing our information there is very, very helpful as well. So... With that, and of course, last but not least, uh, thank you to everybody who makes the small donations. $5 donations, $10 donations. These little contributions to our project help us to pay for our web fees. They help us to pay for the little things that keep one community running, and without them, it would be much, much more difficult for what it is that we do. You know, Until we had small donations, I was paying for everything by myself. And so uh, we, as an organization, are very grateful, grateful for all of those donations because they allow us to continue to operate without living off of our savings and uh, to continue to develop this project at the speed that we are. So thank you, everyone, for the small donations. Thank you for following our project. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you would like to receive an email update every time one of these updates comes out, you can join our newsletter list. And to do that, all you have to do is send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We can ecologically address humanity's foundations and transform this world for everybody. We have the ability to do this. All it takes is participation. More people like our team that really want to do it. So if you're one of those people or if you want to participate just by sharing or by donating to our project, please do. Because we're getting it done. And we will continue to get it done. So as I say at the end of all of these videos, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.